What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I just got back from work. But actually before we continue this video, let me slip. Oh, it is freaking windy over here. Holy crap. Oh. Hope that didn't work. But before I continue the video, let me slip into something a little bit more comfortable for the occasion. Here we go, people. Got my fresh Honda HFP, Honda Factory Performance hoodie. It is not more appropriate because it's windy as hell out here, but I just want it to be comfy. But anyway, the reason I'm doing this video is I've been wanting to do it for a while. I've had this car now for four months. And you know, just wanted to introduce it to the channel. So I'm actually gonna take you back maybe three or four months ago and um, we'll reveal the new car. All right, enjoy. Alright guys, so here she is. So she is a 2015 Honda Cross Door. You know, it is a strange car, but you know, I like it. What I do not like is these mirror caps that it came with. It's got too much chrome on it. So we're going to try to uh, take some chrome out. And the S2000 is right there. And also, I got a lot. Holy crap! It is rainy out here. Jeez, just lost my hoodie. Wow. This is probably not the best time to do a video, but YOLO. But anyway, here is the RDX. So 2015 RDX, 2015 on the cross door, and then 2003 S2000. And if you guys noticed, I put some um, knobbies on this thing. She is rocking BF Goodrich all terrains on it, so pretty beast. And eventually what I want to do is also get some off-road tires, maybe some all terrains for this thing. So like that we will have all terrains and the cross door and all terrains in the RDX. Well, on the RDX. Alright, it's starting to come down pretty good now. So let's jump inside the car and uh, talk a little bit about it. Alright guys, so here is a shot of the interior. I uh, really do enjoy this car. So a lot of people think they're ugly, but... Oh, which I did upgrade the... Uh, well, not upgrade, I just bought these little uh, paddle shifters. Why? I don't know. Because I can. But anyway, let's uh, start her up. I do need to do some service so the service light is on. But uh, other than that, like I said, I've been driving it for about four months now. And I really do enjoy it. There's a shot of the back. Now I can fit the dogs in the back and still throw a few things in there when I put the seats down. Got some um, rubber floor mats. Yeah, it's really coming down out there. 
But pretty much, so this, so again, this is a new daily. I used to have two cars before. I had a 96 Accord in a Jeep uh, Cherokee, so I got rid of those, bought this. Just because I wanted something newer. You know, it's got heated seats, all the amenities. It's got a V6. Uh, but pretty much what I want to do with this thing is I eventually want to lift it. And like I said previously, I want to put some all-terrain uh, tires on it, so it will be getting new uh, tires and uh, wheels. But I gotta find a company that will do a lift kit. So more to come on that. Well, let's uh, go outside in the rain again and uh, check out the exhaust because, as per usual, I don't leave anything stuck and uh, I already changed the exhaust on it. So let's go check it out. All right, guys, so change of plans. It's actually raining pretty good and I don't wanna get this camera set up uh, soaked. So let's see if it stops raining for a little bit and uh, then we can do an exhaust note. So we'll shut this thing back up. And, um... Whoa! Holy mackerel! It is a freaking crazy out here. Woo! All right, so let's hope that this rain goes away and then we'll do a sound of the uh, cross tour. All right, guys, it is still super windy. But it's not raining as much. I have to throw a hat on because my hair is just too crazy. I don't have my Eslish Beal hat because I literally dropped it there earlier taking the dogs out. It just fell in a giant puddle of water. So not soaked. But anyway, let's, uh, I'm going to try to put the camera down and hopefully I don't drop it and break it. But let's try to do... <laughs> this is ridiculous. Let's try to do an exhaust note on this thing. All right? I did magnifold mufflers and I also did a uh, resonator re delete. So it is, it sounds good. It's not too loud, but obviously you can see that it's there. <clears throat> Let's see what we can get from inside. Again, sorry, it's super windy out there. Of course, this has that rev limiter which that thing is whack but overall like I said super happy with the car so let's do a quick shot of of course got the uh, Honda Power Dreams plate bracket but I even have a dog blanket but um, yeah this thing is not bad at all pull that the seats go down this one so you can still fit a good amount of things in here and um, I know it's like oddly shaped so a lot of people don't like it but again I think once this has some wheels some tires lifted and we get rid of this chrome I think it will look pretty badass and I got to tent the window and then also I want to get rid of either get rid of that grill or just uh, black it out. All right guys, so that's gonna be it. I just wanted to do a quick introduction of the cross tour because again, there will be more videos about that. And um, actually, let me show you this quick. Look at this. It's ridiculous. Look at all this water. It is crazy. Super windy. It's raining, but I figured it'd be, uh, I don't know, maybe make it up for a good video, so. If you guys like the video, like down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we will have more videos coming up on the Cross Tour and the S2000. Alright guys, catch you later.